What is happening? Everybody, welcome to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French. And I don't know why I'm out here. Oh! No, I do remember. Hmm. It's actually going to be a great clip of me skydiving to the spot coming up, so look out for that. Thanks for hanging out here at Rob's Arcade. Uh, this is your host, Rob French. Hope you guys have been having a good week so far. It's Tuesday, November 28th, I believe. Yes. Um, oh, let's take this guy. This looks fun. November 28th. Or we're getting close to the end of uh, the month here. Getting close to December. As you can see, I've got my... Actually, let me mark... Uh, my one of my spots here. We'll just we'll just drive to my apartment while we do a little update that I like to do from time to time. And let's see if I can't get there in one piece. Maybe I actually try to obey some of the traffic laws here in Los Santos. But I like to do these little updates with you guys from time to time. Just kind of hang out here, catch up with you, see what's going on. Please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you've been doing. Let me know how your weekend was. Let me know how your Thanksgiving was, all of that. Um, so it's an early start to the week, but hopefully you guys have been having a, a good week so far. I myself have been off for the last couple of days, uh, which has been really nice yesterday. I don't think I did a single uh, thing, like no laundry. Um, I literally was like posted videos. You're gonna see a bunch of videos uh, popping up this, um, this update as well as just I'm gonna be purging um, Hello there. videos left and right I've got a bunch of stuff on um, my library here and I want to try to get all that cleared out and uh, so look forward to like a bunch of videos a bunch of Fortnite stuff a uh, bunch of little clips from GT. I'm kind of upset. Uh, speaking of posting, talking about obeying traffic laws and the first guy that gets in my way. Um, speaking of posting, I'm a little upset. Uh, speaking of an update, one of the things I noticed when I went to go post yesterday is that it looks like uh, an update to the PlayStation 5 isn't just the new Fortnite, which has been pretty awesome, but there's no more uh, Twitter options available. Let me actually just kind of cruise behind this guy. Look how slow this is. This is ridiculous, though. There's no more Twitter options to, um... Oh, the, the line's dotted. You can pass on these. The line, If the line is dotted, you're allowed to pass. But there's no more Twitter options available for for posting. So, like, if you have a screenshot or a small clip that you just want to post, which I was known to do that. I love, um having like a, a small little clip of like Fortnite, maybe just like the very end moment, the very end of the dub. And then I would kind of like post that with a little bit of a, you know, like a, um, oh, what is this? Let's check this spot out. I've never, I've never, uh, oops, wrong, wrong button. Never been here. Um, but you know, you could like post like a short little video, like the dub and just be like, hey, if you want the full vid, not much, my man. If you want the full vid, just click the link in my bio. What is this? You'd almost think it's like a cemetery or something. It's like a, just a park. So weird. Uh, but yeah, they took the, the way. But Twitter's been kind of like so weird. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, they, it's like a black X now, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, can you sit at the bench? You should be able to sit down at the park benches. That'd be so cool. This looks like it's a park, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with like social medias and Twitters and the internet. Like I said, Twitter's now like a black X, which just makes no sense. Stupid Elon Musk. Um, looks like more like, like a porn thing. Pornhub's not a thing anymore. Like, what's going on with the world? Pornhub's not a thing. Twitter's a, a an X. Exes don't tweet. 
Bird's tweet. It was fine. I don't know why they changed it. But anyway, I noticed that the other day when I was going to post. So, um, I think it's pretty interesting. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with, like, my screenshots. I had some pretty cool screenshots I was going to post, but I don't know, um, really, uh, what, what I'm going to do with those now. I feel like Sony should come up with their very own forum. Like, their very own app. Greetings. Where you can just post all of your... I mean, do they have that? Is that a thing? I don't know. Like, I know they have something like on on the PlayStation itself that you can post and share and all of that. But is there like a PlayStation... Like, I'm going to look that up. See if there's something like that. Like a Sony app. But that wasn't, that wasn't on my options to link to. So I don't think there's something like that. Like, I think there should be like a Sony app in which you just link to it and you can put, you know, short videos and... Um, screenshots. People can follow you. You can share them like that. That would be, I think, a cool idea. Because it's so weird. You can't, you can't do that anymore. Oh, Rob, I thought this would be like a lot longer of a ride. Um, to my spot. But that wasn't that long at all. I was hoping to kind of cruise for a little bit. I'll be kind of talk. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get some like some posting done, just because I haven't had a chance. Like work has been so freaking busy. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it a lot, but it has been super busy. Actually, I'm kind of like glad uh, I had this uh, option, uh, this option, this um opportunity to uh, tell this over the weekend. I had some some fresh faces at one of our um, events um, this past weekend. Um, my job is a Allowing me this year to sell Christmas trees, which is really, really cool. My leaders and I hanging out selling Christmas trees. And I had some new faces out there that I hadn't had a chance to talk with yet and meet. And uh, they were interested to see how I was doing in my new role. And it was very fun to kind of explain to them. And I guess uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys, too, if I hadn't already kind of talked about this a little bit. Um, but it's, it was really fulfilling uh, getting this job for so many reasons. It kind of like check the uh the boxes on on several aspects uh one it just i wanted to get full time like as soon as i was working um you know working like having a part-time hour i wanted the full time like that was you know something i wanted uh desperately so when i got full time like check right off the box there uh but also wanted to do something that was rewarding and fulfilling to a degree. Why isn't this guy going? Uh, and this, uh, I guess he's turning to, this kind of hits on all of those as well. Uh, um, you know, being able to kind of like work with youth to be a mentor and every day just coming home and feeling like I've, I've done something rewarding is like super, super awesome. But it's um, also been super super busy like it's, it's nice i get a lot of control that's something else too that you know i was really looking forward in, to in a career was being able not necessarily like my own boss but having the freedom to kind of navigate my position and and, and you know kind of operate it the way i wanted to operate and kind of have some freedom and that's like another box that got that got checked off and so there's a lot of just cool aspects to it but it is like a super busy super stressful at times and i re what i was like remembering um i was i don't know what i was just saying i was remembering when i was talking with some of these new leaders that you know i um it's kind of like i said you know, explaining like you know, well okay i guess how stressful it is from um from time to time I don't even know where I was going with that I just completely lost my like my train of thought there um help me get back people I'm just gonna hang here at the light for a second just kind of think about what I was saying oh yes I remember now okay so yeah it's like it's, it's super stressful and busy at times but I lost it again. I'm like, I keep getting text messages. I'm sorry. Like, I'm off today, and I'm getting text messages from people at work, and uh, 
for trying to navigate to the casino and talk to you guys. So, yes, super busy and stressful from time to time, but also super rewarding. And I just remember coming into this, like, Christmas tree sales, this, this tree lot, as we call it, and uh, we were having, like, some of our first meetings at the beginning of the month uh, here in, in November. And when we were having, like, one of our full-time meetings, all of the staff that had been with us in you know, previous years had the same reaction to the opening statement of the meeting, which was, all right, guys, we're coming into November. And the whole room just let out this whole, like, collective, like, oh, man. And some of us newer faces were kind of looking at each other like, oh, wow, what, is, what does that mean? But November is just a super, super busy time for us in, in general. There's just a lot going on, end of the year, stuff's got, you know, budget, programming, just all kinds of stuff, plus events, Christmas trees. Like, there's just so much happening. So there was this huge collective, like, oh, man, like, we're coming into November, and the rest of us are kind of like, what does that mean? Well, within the first couple of weeks, I felt like, wow, I know exactly what they're talking about. This first two weeks of November has been insane. And I look at my calendar, and it's only the like November 6th it was like like it hadn't even been like a like one full week into um into November and it felt like it had been two like that's how busy it was like we were so busy that first two or that first six days it felt like it had been two weeks and I was like oh my god like we haven't even gotten started yet uh, so um it's been super super duper uh, busy and crazy. I haven't, like I said, I had a lot of chance to post any videos or anything like that, but super rewarding at the same time. Like I said, getting to do things in the community and kind of help out and give back, it's just been absolutely amazing. And each event, it's kind of like a freaking Pixar movie. Like, each event just gets better and better. Like, you watch Toy Story, and you're like, all right, well, there's no way Bug's Life could get any better than Toy Story. And then you get to Tree Lot, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is better than the last thing we did. And it's just, it's, it's, it's super amazing. Uh, really hard as well to not get wrapped up into the Christmas spirit, like super, like, you know, I'm, I'm one of those, I know some people, as, I feel like as soon as November hits and Christmas is over, there's some people who like jump right onto the Christmas train. I like to enjoy the holidays. Uh, I enjoy Thanksgiving. I actually feel like it's a great holiday because it's one of the few holidays where there's not, it's a very, like, it's, it's a very basic holiday. Uh, there's not a whole lot of, like, okay, I'll take it. I was getting really excited. I thought I was going to win the car, although I don't know what I would do with that car. Uh, but I will definitely take the cash. That's dope. Merry Christmas to me. Uh, but as you can see, like, I'm, you know, I'm even wearing the Santa suit. Uh, actually, it's not because I'm in the Christmas spirit. It's because my cousin Holden was uh, getting super... It was like watching Christmas movies during Halloween. And I'm like, bro, you can't you can't do that. Like, it's way too early. And he's like, no, I could do that. You can do whatever you want. You could watch Christmas movies whenever you... I guess it's true, but I'm like, no, there's certain Christmas movies you can watch during this time of year. One of them, uh, like, uh, was it Black Christmas? Uh... You have, like, Silent Night, Deadly Night, I think, like, 1 and 2. There's a really cool Tales from the Crypt Halloween special. Violent Night, the new movie with David Harbour. That would be a bad one to watch during Halloween, even though it's more of an action movie and not really a scary movie. But, yeah, I'm just like, no, it's, it's too early. We've got so many weeks. Let's take our time. So, literally, I put this on because I was like, I'm just going to, like murderize uh, Mary Weather, for all my your cousin security needs. How can I help? as Santa Claus. And like that's, on its way. that's just going to be my goal. And so it's not even like I'm, I'm dressed as Santa for the Christmas spirit. I like to take my time. I like to, you know, 
work my way through. A lot of times, actually, like there's so many horror movies that I like to watch during October that it will stretch its way into November. Like the first couple of weeks of November, I often find myself watching. Um, oh, my cousin's texting me right now. Speaking of people like just like texting me, blowing me up. Um, ooh, board session on the horizon. Maybe more videos to be posting. But yeah, I like to enjoy it. Uh, like I said, uh, my, my horror movies will sometimes um, run into November. Roger that. And I like Thanksgiving because there's no shopping needed there's nothing you really have to do to be a stunt man, but I failed it's a exam. it's a basic just grab a dinner there's nothing a whole lot there's like you know no fireworks you know turkey mashed potatoes green bean casserole these are things you have throughout the entire year uh, but it's just a nice time to hang up with friends family just have some food very cool very simple not a whole lot of decorations not a whole lot to do it's just a very cool very chill holiday Right before you have the, you know, the big one, which is, that's not good, man, uh, which is Christmas. You know, it's a nice, chill holiday before Christmas, um, but it's been really hard not to jump into the spirit. Like, it's so cool. We're doing so many, like, you know, like for the very first moment of unloading these, uh, it really is, my man, for the very first, like, moment of unloading these Christmas trees uh, with my leaders, man. I wanted to go home and start watching Christmas movies like almost right away. And I kind of have been, but I've been, again, like Violent Night, Gremlins, things that are kind of Christmas movies, but aren't necessarily Christmassy Christmas movies. Uh, you know, kind of want to, I want to take my time as we get into December. You know, we're, we're, we've only got a few more days before I can finally like go gung ho and have like that 25 days of Christmas holiday. Um, movies. What is he My doing? dad wanted me to be a pilot. I wanted to cut hair and bob mullet. Oh, I, so I could stop him. I was trying to change the angle. How do you change the angle? Have you ever thought about taking some flying lessons? It's easy. I have thought about taking flying lessons. Actually, uh, we got approached to take some of our leaders out for flying lessons this past week, which again, it's just, again, a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff going on. Every day is a new adventure. Um, and I've actually had some really cool moments with this, uh, this, this tree lot. Like I said, from the very first moment of like unloading um, the trees it's like right away i wanted to watch christmas movies um and then we sold our very first christmas tree and like watching the people put the tree in their car and like pull away like you couldn't help but get like a little bit like emotional and again like want to run home and just watch some uh some christmas movies and just you know, put lights on the house. It's like, oh, okay, dude, it's, it's a little too early. Like, I mean, and that's, it's like one thing, you know, again, like to watch Christmas movies, but I like, I want to go home and start putting the tree up myself and um, put like, you know, lights on the house. And I don't know, it's just, <clears throat> it's really hard not to get super into the spirit. I actually had a really cool moment over the weekend where I was helping this really young Asian family with their tree and, they didn't really know like what to like when I was asking about like a fresh cut and kind of trimming it. It's like one of the service, you know, some of the services we offer. They didn't really know like what what are we, what what is that? And they were kind of like uh, sure, I guess so, okay, I don't know. And they were like, this is our first tree. And I was like, okay, okay. And it didn't really click with me when they said that. I'm I'm thinking like this is their first, um, like you know, Christmas tree as a couple maybe like they've had them growing up but they've never like had their own kind of a thing 
And then as I'm talking to them and trimming their tree and like, you know, getting a fresh cut and explaining like how it gets in the stand and you know, like, do you guys have stands? And like, where do we get a stand? And I'm like, no, we don't have any, but you can get one at like Walmart and you can get one here. And they're like, okay, okay. And they're like, well, what kind should we get? And then again, they're like, oh, you know, this is like our very first Christmas tree. And I'm like, oh, wait, like ever? And they're like, yes, ever. And I was blown away. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like helping them with this tree. And I'm like, I realized like not only is it like their first tree as a couple, but it's their very first Christmas tree ever. And they're like, yeah, we're, you know, they're, they're, they're newlyweds. They just bought a house. And then they're getting the very first Christmas tree. And um, I was able to be a part of that. I mean, it's hard to not get a little misty eyed now, even just thinking about, you know, what that is and what that means. Uh, something I was like very clear when I was like putting out my email to my leaders, like getting them all rallied up to um to volunteer and help out with this is that it's not just you know a chance to get volunteer hours and a, you know a chance to you know be outside and hang out with your friends like this is an opportunity to be a part of somebody's christmas you know these are trees that are going to be um you know put in their homes decorated Lights are going to be put on them. Presents are going to be put underneath. And these are going to be Christmas trees that they're going to cherish for some time uh, to come. Why do you pull up? There you go. And so to be able to be a part of that, like you don't get many opportunities in life uh, to get a chance to be a part of something like that. So it's pretty 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 amazing so that's kind of like what my what my week has been like uh it's been super crazy i've never done anything like this before not only in terms of this position that's very new to me but uh just every day whether it's helping out like at a marathon or the you know the richmond marathon events or doing something for halloween or doing this christmas tree lot like all of this is very new to me but uh very exciting very very fulfilling uh, and it's just been just been a lot of fun. Um, very excited to be off these last couple of days. You know, get a chance to play some video games. Get a chance to kind of hang out with you guys and catch up. And I hope you guys take an opportunity to you know kind of fill me in with what's been going on with your life. You know, kind of pop down in that um, little comment section. Let me know how your your Thanksgiving was. Uh, you know, again, mine was uh, pretty chill. Uh, just dinner. You know, a few, a few people, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. Um, and, you know, got to actually play, speaking of video games, I got to play some of the trial for the new Harry Potter video game, Hogwarts, what is it, Legacy, with my sister. Actually, I hadn't played any of it, and it was something I wanted to wait until um, she could kind of try out herself. She's a huge Harry Potter fan. And they had the, um, which I'm gonna call it, the trial available. So I went ahead and downloaded that and let her play. That was actually like I think the highlight of my Thanksgiving was hanging out in my room with my sister, watching her play video games. I just I gave her the controller. She was kind of like, well, does it tell you what to do? Does it explain, like, does it just throw you into the action? What is it about? Blah, blah, blah. And I just gave her the controller and was like, well, here, you know, you, you, you figure it out. And it was just a lot of fun watching her play, getting an opportunity myself to kind of take the controller a couple times to try to figure out a couple of things together. And just, just watching her uh, play a video game was just really cool and a lot of fun after everybody had kind of like left and it was just us hanging out. Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. I just want to take a second to address that amazing maneuver. Go back and rewind that and look at that. That is... I've been playing a lot of Star Wars lately. That is definitely my Star Wars maneuvering just kicked in. That was beautiful. Like I just, I've, I'm actually surprised that some of the the, 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 the clips and and I don't even know what they're called, not even like, like clips. So these little things, what are these little sways, these little little maneuvers I've been I've been hitting through the buildings. 
but I almost clipped, I guess that's the, 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 the right word I want to use there, clipped that antenna as I went under the bridge, and I, like, did this, and then, like, pulled up, and then, like, got out of the water. Like, what was that? That was absolutely amazing. Wow. Please go back and, and rewatch that, you guys. Thankful for my, uh... my flying skills here on GTA. So I'm going to try to do a... Let's try to land on the boardwalk here at the uh, the fair. I'll take it. Not, not bad at all. Not bad. All right, well, that's um, R2 telling me it's time to wrap this up. Let's go ahead and close this out again with the beautiful singing voice of Buck Martin, who you have heard many times in many of my videos, hanging out with me in Fortnite, GTA. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, he gave me a really cool um, d and starter kit. I've been really excited to get into that. Never been a D&D &D player, but uh, got my very first kit. Been painting my very first little mini figure guy, making my own little characters and stuff. It's been super, super cool. But um, let me go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. That's kind of what's been going on in my world. Let me know what's been going on in your world by hitting that comment section down below. Let me know what you think of that landing. Let me know what you think of some of those maneuvers. I'm going to go back and watch that myself. That was absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, thanks again, you guys, so much for uh, hanging out here. Please have a great week. Uh, enjoy the rest of your November. I'll be back in December with an update for you then. Hope everything's going good with you. Until then, until next time, thank you so much for hanging out. And please don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.